guys, Shane Sarge with DroidMotorX.com. Android and iOS had the mobile mark placed on the lockdown, but does that mean that there's not room for a third mobile operating system? Windows and BlackBerry both seem to think that there's plenty of room. Ubuntu has just announced this past week that they are releasing their own mobile operating system that should land on Galaxy Nexus by the end of February. Ubuntu is looking to freshen up the mobile atmosphere with their new phone OS. It's going to drop first on the Galaxy Nexus, and the reason I'm excited about this is because it brings a lot of revolutionary things to the mobile platform. First, and for some, most importantly, Ubuntu is 100% open source. Now, it's built off of Linux, just like Android, and Android claims to be open source, but we all know that Android is not 100% open source. You guys can think back to Honeycomb on the Zoom. Uh, Android kind of locked Honeycomb down for quite a while and didn't allow developers to dig into that and they also do not release their source code the instant it's available uh, sometimes we have to wait a little while longer to get the source code Ubuntu on the other hand is completely open source as soon as a builds available it will be available for developers another thing that sets Ubuntu apart from other mobile OS's is web apps now I know that web apps that seems to be kind of like a thing of the past uh, but it's because web apps as we think of them on phones they just don't tend to work but then again, sometimes that's all we use. Like I can think of Facebook, for instance. Most people don't use the native Facebook app because it's terrible. Most people will use the web app. So you'll go to Facebook.com and use that mobile web app. Now one thing that Ubuntu does that is revolutionary is it actually includes native features to the web app so that you can actually get push notifications from say Facebook or Twitter if you happen to be using that web application. So I can see developers really using those native features from the web apps and really creating something new and fresh for our mobile phones. The user interface in Ubuntu is very unique as well. So no more buttons, no more app icons on the home screen. Uh, the operating system is totally different from what you would normally think of. In Android we have navigation buttons, in iOS we have just an endless app drawer on the home screens. Uh, but Ubuntu is different because it uses only gestures and swipes to navigate through the OS. So you'll start from the home screen. The home screen is geared towards you. So it kind of picks up and learns from you as you use it. The home screen changes uh, to suit your needs. You can access anything from the home screen. So you can pull up your launcher by swiping from the left. You'll pull up your launcher. That'll give you all of your most relevant applications, the ones that you use the most. And you can access all of those from the lock screen. There's nothing on your phone that you cannot access from the lock screen. Uh, it's still secure. You can add like a pin or something in order to keep all of that secure, but you don't have to even get into the OS before you can access things from the lock screen. Of course, if you want to get to the home screen, you can grab that from the launcher, which you'll pull from the left side. That'll give you all of your apps, and at the very bottom of that will be your actual home screen. If you swipe down from the top, you'll actually see the search bar, and that search bar, as you enter searches, it's going to change your home screen. So your home screen is going to show uh, things that are relevant to you, things that you've searched for, and it's gonna be customized to your liking. So you'll have all types of movies that would interest you, books that would interest you, music that would, would interest you, all in your home screen based on the way that you use your phone. Another thing you'll notice from the top is a status bar. It's just the same as any other mobile operating system, you'll have your battery stats, you'll have your clock, you'll have notifications all there in the top. And one thing that is unique is you can pull down that top bar and access each individual notification and you can actually change the settings right there just from a a swipe down. If you swipe from the right side of the screen, you're going to bring up all of your recent apps. So this is an awesome way to use true multitasking on a phone operating system. You can just go quickly from one app to the other. You don't even have to pull up a recent apps menu like you do have to in Android. You'll be able just to open those uh, just by simply swiping from the right. And then if you swipe from the bottom, you're going to access your menu. So you'll be able to do any any kind of menu operations in your applications. Those will come from just a simple swipe up. In other operating systems, the menu button takes up real estate on the screen. Here it doesn't. It stays hidden until you swipe up, which is really neat. So Ubuntu will release a stock image for the Galaxy Nexus later on in February. I'm sure developers will port that to several other devices. I can even imagine developers taking that and making a dual booting system so you can have Android and Ubuntu on the same device. Now, 
Now Ubuntu plans on releasing devices in 2014, so that'd be something to look forward to. Maybe that'll shake up the mobile marketplace. So guys, what do you think? Are you guys as excited about Ubuntu Phone as I am? I think it's really neat, it's really fresh, it's something totally unique, totally new, and there's a lot of innovation in this mobile operating system. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Leave your comments below. Is this something that you guys are excited to see for yourselves? Uh, if you like this, give it a big thumbs up. Guys, you can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerace. Be sure to check out DroidModerace.com for all the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to click the subscribe button below, and once again, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. DroidModerace.com, and today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I've been running on my Droid DNA.